don't know about this LGD draft, man. I feel like when it comes to the timing of this, it's like up on top lane, they want to have a crack over at Luo. Xiao Wei, he's got Wave of Terror and a Magic Missile. She's using the Wave of Terror first, so then maybe. Wow, okay, this is a deep dive. Taking way too much damage from the tower. Xiao Wei does lock oh, in what a great a fissure. Fissure block. Wow. Luo, oh one gosh, more attack's going to get it. In fact, he spins the last bit of damage, a Brewmaster drops. Chuan, so quick on that TP. That was perfect. That was incredible. So the reason this is a really good play isn't just that he got Ferrari just aggressively Ferrari waveformed in. in, and Yao was waiting for this one and throws out the sprites. And Ferrari's got three stick charges trying to strength morph himself up as much as possible. But underneath that town, this time there's no TP support. But with a stick charge, he's still not going to die. Meanwhile, Vengeful Spirits, in fact, dying up on the top. Morphling will die behind the tier one. Are they going for a second? They're looking for maybe. Chorn's got Fissure back off cooldown. Cancels the south. There's another call plus the battle hunger. Chance of survival is very low here for maybe. Maybe, maybe, well, okay, there's Luo, no spin. But they're able to get the kill. So a double kill on the top lane for the combo of the Axe as well as the Earthshaker. And they're TPing the hell out of there. Uh oh, John uh Kent. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty dead. He could have purchased himself a TP though. But now yeah, he's he will. Gonna do that now. Free gold. Uh, this is pretty big for LGD to get Silo these two kills. So now he's probably going to be almost topping. He's Chuan, Faith, as well as Luo, searching for the target. And they're actually scouting out the stacks, as well as Xiao Wei moving up. Where's that silence? Fissure as well from Chuan. It's going to reach, as well Whoa. as the Curse of the Sun and the Battle Hunger. So, that'll open itself up for a dunk. They still came here for a reason, which was to try and take these stacks away from LGD. Or at least force them now to farm it up. Neutral camp. The neutrals will start hitting Sand King in the Sandstorm. It's Looks like Chuan's going to end up odd. dying here. Uh, with the Fissure, there was the Curse of the Sun going over on Yao. He is not going to Icarus dive. In fact, he's dead. This assassination is going to fly in. They kept him silent. So it's uh, Phoenix for an Earthshaker as a trade-off. That's four intelligence so far for Faith. And Better of the positioning in this fight. I don't know if that's really possible. But they're going to try it on top. Maybe buy your Blink Dagger before you die. Like, okay, there he is. Yeah, no. Still hasn't purchased it. Global Silence will be there. And he'll buy the Blink Dagger just as he's dying. Up on top. Killing spree, but it's still a large amount of experience. Oh, this is going to be a really uh, big fight. Ryan, where are you going, Curry? It's delivering a ghost into Ferrari. Good, good Nova position. IG burning, in fact, doing exactly what his name suggests. Faith will be able to escape out this one. There's no global silence to hunt out the rest of his team. The fissure flies in, but it's not enough of a space creator. The Brewmaster blinked and split so early that there was just no way for IG to get control of that fight, and they'll ride on top of the sniper. Great fight for LGD. Defend this. Uh -huh. Looks like they might want to try to they delay it a little bit with a fissure, to? but they're going to be too late. Well, there is no Brewmaster split. Oh, denied! Global nice. Sun's up in two seconds time. They're having a jump in. And well, burning. He's going to get pushed back straight out again. Rejected at the front. Faith also having to retreat himself out. Ferrari coming close towards LGD, but LGD have, have got what they wanted. They just managed to take two kills onto a sniper, plus extra change, and the tier one tower. Even if it was denied, I don't think that's really going to matter to LGD. Late. We're going up towards top. Chuan, well, he's got a little bit of help behind him. Maybe he's trying to initiate in here, but MMY going to get assassinated out. They do still get the kill over on Chuan, but it kind of isolated them out a little bit too much. Brewmaster will drop, and Yao just has to Icarus dive himself away to safety. LGD biting up a little bit more than they could chew. But while they're doing that, Silas still having a great old time on bottom lane, pushing in the tier 1 tower. Yeah, if he gets the last hit on this, this is going to be like it. Out of here. Yeah, this gank is pretty much bound to fail. Ferrari might get swapped, but he can just wait for him right now. Yeah, she was trying to uh, wait for him, so then Xiao Wei can come in for the stun. Well, that didn't really work. Ferrari can't strength more fast enough, and the fish didn't find enough space. I actually think he would have just lived if he waved for him straight down the lane, and Chuan could have just fissured. If he kept running down the lane, he would have been swapped and stunned. Oh, well, he was swapped already. That's how the fight initiated, yeah. right? They initiated by swapping him in, so if he waveforms down, they can get avenged to us, being avenged on yep. Faith. Axe. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if you really want to be trying to fight that one, especially with the relocate coming in. Sila's the one who's brought in. He's still got a stifling dagger. Nice Fisher. And Sila, well, he'll throw the dagger out, maybe. He's uh, got his clap. He's fading out a couple of times. The assassination's coming the way here of the Brewmaster. Trying to look for the stun, and Xiao Hei swapping the axe away so he's incapable of going for the dunk. Very, very nice swap by Xiao Hei. The prediction there. I think maybe might have called out that he was getting assassinated. Can of course see it on his status bar. And the moment it was about to hit, Xiao Hei swapped him away and secured that kill. And I find a key hero, like especially the Wisp, would be the kill. 
uh, that makes PA so much weaker, and Morphling is actually completely able to jump onto that Wisp. There's almost no counterplay available for LGD. They need to instantly Venge stun when he jumps on the Wisp, or else Wisp is just dead. Oh, here they go. Middle lane, Luo for the jump, turns on the blade, Mel Silas hurting himself pretty badly here. That BKB still coming out the courier, but it's way too late. The global silence helping him out, Silas gets to pick up into now the Nova, buying space for LGD, but Ferrari doesn't really care. He waveforms in very, very deep next to MMY to kill off uh, the, the poor little silencer. I mean, the poor little vengeful spirit. That's the Brumas split over towards burning. A little bit of trouble for him in the mill because they're coming in close, but then again, when you have that E Blade from Ferrari, oh, that the Wisp just goes down. I don't think maybe he's going like to escape gonna from matter. this one. Even with oh. the Echo Slam off target, maybe he keeps getting headshot by burning, and there's no way to escape. It's a full team wipe going the way of Invictus Gaming. And all they lost was a silencer. Yeah, this is this is what has also Global Silence. <laughs> and the Global Silence is going to kill you once you try and dive back, back past the towers, because you're probably going to look for the kills this before you think about This could be good for LGD, though. This is actually a pretty good position. Well, Ferrari doesn't have a replicate. He's actually lost his replicate now, so he doesn't have a chance for it. But then again, Xiao Wei doesn't have a chance to survive. The relocate will come. They look for Chorn. They will pick him off. Global Silence was used. But Nerve Shaker for Revengeful Spirit was the trade-off. And yeah, that's that all you had. Just... The relocate was already used. Looks like they might, now with Relocate down, if they catch them right here... Their Observer Ward sees it. It's actually going to take a while. The, the gem is going gonna, is gonna to be uh, allowing it to deboard primarily because they put themselves that ward in the same position. But Xiao Wei caught out. There's your E-Blade attack. The Culling Blade a little bit too early there. In fact, uh, the E-Blade made it so they couldn't just keep attacking him. And then maybe jumps in with the BKB. They're looking for Luo. Wait for that PHC crits on the coup de grace. But it only came from the Stifling Dagger. Phoenix Nova. Just more of a, uh, of a zoning ability at the moment. It's a one-for-one one trade off. That's I'm a really nice disengage by IG. I feel like they came out ahead big time there. Sure. Is there any That's ward to really even nice see that? With because you're walking around with a gem, so you're trying to protect your wall positioning. Nice jump in. They've caught out the Brewmaster. Global Science as well. In for the E-Blade, but he had cheats on the Brewmaster. Triggers it off, and now Lua is in way too deep. They're gonna find their pick off on the axe. As oh, we're looking at two. The if they, they find burning, this is the bigger kill. He's going to BKB. The Abyssal Blade's up, but they're not going to MMY. Just buffing him up as much as he possibly can. That beat into the melee rake, so it looks like they're going to let it happen. Because on bottom range, Ferra Ferrari is trying to push the tier 3 tower. He's not going to move fast enough, and there's your Echo Slam! Big jump in by Chuan, maybe so low. He's going to go for the Brewmaster split out as Sila initiates over on Chuan. The Vengeful Spirit attack will in fact kill him off. But he just took the melee rakes, Ferrari. Working very quickly through that melee on the bottom, and this is going to be almost a full trade-off. He hasn't got it properly, though. You will set it up in towards the air. But he may as well finish the job. There's not enough of LGD coming back to stop this. In fact, yeah, they're going to lose the full bottom racks. Maybe in Zhao Wei are trying to retreat, but LGD just cannot fall back in time. Even Phoenix in, in fear is no but himself behind the racks, and Ferrari's done this solo. Yeah, this is the advantage they got from Chuan's initiation there. I think part of the Echo Slam was, of course, wishing that they could win the fight, but the other part was just del At this point, they need to try and get that counter rags on bottom. Or else they have 40 seconds on Aegis. Pushed by the How 40 happened? seconds on the Aegis. Is there a glyph for IG? There is not. So this is actually the perfect timing for LGD to go in. It's this is the play they need to make. Sutler's already got his personal Aegis. He's already finished the Satanic before he did Monkey King Bar. A little bit of an adaptive strike out on Siler. Doesn't really care too much about it. He's gonna keep going in. There's the call though. Ah, that's a bit quick swap out. Zhao Wei making sure there is no initiation on Siler. Take out the tier 3 tower and LGD trying to force this. The assassination plus E Blade. MMY is still able to survive this one. And Chuan, Siler's just jumped and turned on the BKB. And the Blade Melt's gonna have no effect in this case. Venom Strike in. It's a triple kill for Siler by Ferrari. He's at least able to find one, but it's only the Wisp at this point of the game. Ferrari pushing back Xiao Wei. He doesn't have E-Blade, he does have an Adaptive Strike available. They're gonna Magic Missile. Well, there's your Adaptive Strike. Waveforms over the Magic Missile. We should be keeping our eyes pretty closely on Sila. He might have lost the Aegis the Immortal. That Gem of True Size is just still sitting on the ground. I think Sila's gonna be the man to pick it up. But they didn't take out the Rax. So that IG aren't searching for the kill down here. They leave an aggressive Observer Ward like inside, inside the Dire Jungle. Yeah, well... If at first you don't succeed, smoke and smoke again. Well, they gained some intel there. They can probably narrow it down to LGD or most likely in our jungle. This is uh, going to be a very it's dead It's the worst hero they could have found. 
But they wanted a call. They didn't want Xiao Wei for a double smoke. Oh, they relocate in? Wait, what? They're actually going to try this. They're actually going in for this one? Emmett, why the? so low? The Phoenix Nova trying to buy some space for Iron just turns on the BKB. He's not attacking hard or fast enough, which means Yao will come out of this, gets the stun, and that's allowing Silent to get himself a triple kill. All the space in the world for the Phantom Assassin. It's an ultra kill for Sila. The Morphling, the only man to escape out of here. And this will just be a push for glory. LGD through the bottom lane, and IG, not the fight they were looking for, come into play. Like, how do they how do they keep LGD at bay and stop them from farming Radiant every single portion of the map? Because Sila just walks through, Radiant and doesn't matter how big your creep wave fallen. is, he takes one swing, and you've lost Leaving your momentum. Pipe. Yeah, that's a Xiao Wei pipe. Chuan jumping in. Nice fission with the global silence. They might be killing off Sila at the moment. And yes, they will. He couldn't actually get the old, the, uh, the satanic off. But he's got no way to get back to the front lines at the moment. Maybe he could buy those BTs now. But the Brumar split into a Nova. They've got a little bit of space. And Luo, yeah, that's trouble for him. Phantom Assassin. Wait, okay. He's back. Yeah, they ported back MMYM, relocated him in. That's the way to do yeah. it. Well, if he dies again now, Siler, this is a really big problem. That would be a dieback, but they do get the Morphling, who's buying back as well. They will try to chase Siler to the ends of the Earth right here. That's the biggest kill they could get. Problem but is, LG it looks they, like they're they gonna need, maybe get out. They need more control. Ferrari's jumped in. He's gonna get Hex, and Siler just turns around. There's your crit. Ferrari's gonna drop. Faith will go, and this is GG. They've lost yeah, too many players. Oh in fact, Burning just gets crits. smacked. <laughs> <laughs> get wrecked. Oh, oh, that's. That's, that's just rough. That's rough and dirty. That was a really nice mid game from LGD. The early game was slightly won by IG, but they never managed to accumulate enough of a lead. And ultimately, when, when this push comes in, having items like a pipe on the Venge, all of this adds up, right? They blocked pretty much the entire Echo Slam. The only thing Echo Slam really did was stun up their targets. And sure, they do get the kills, but they get them that extra bit slower. And all of those small advantages that they gathered with their double Midas is just...